The latest update, quizzes and loads of RSGP. This is the hottest chat show on RuneScape. Rune Talk, have your say. Hello, I am Power of Five. And I'm DJ Quackies. And up today we've got a great Rune Talk lined up for you. We have some great guests. First, we have Nathan, who is the community manager and head of staff. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Ree. Yep. Um, (laughs) And our second guest today is Lily B. Allen, who um, is the... Okay, let me get this right. Um, Okay, I'm blonde. That's my excuse. I had this five seconds ago. Team leader of community. And of course, we also have Mr. Illustrial as always. Hello, Illustrial. Say the best to last. I like it. Hello, guys. Whatever. Well. (laughs) (laughs) Not the case. Yeah, maybe. Um, Okay. Got some great talk show topics. So uh, up first, I think we'll start with Party of the Year, which was last night. It's my birthday. Party of the Year, Kathy. Party of the Year. It wasn't... It was a coincidence. It wasn't for your party. Yeah. Yeah, it was. (laughs) Sure. But um, I think Nathan, the last year DJ, for most of it, didn't you? I, I didn't do any, unfortunately. No, okay, I, I, Nathan probably did most of it. <laughs> yeah, it was myself, uh, Diamond and Anita, uh, but I kicked it off and it was, uh, it was a load of fun. We've got loads of people attended. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see any J-Mods on there, which is a shame. Although there were J-Mods on their uh, old accounts, so the new accounts, they were there. But yeah. Um, yeah, none on the gold crown, which is a bit of a shame. But other than that, it was, it was a load of fun and loads of pictures on uh, the forums and also a feedback uh, topic on the forums as well. So if you did go and you want to post how you thought it was, then definitely check out those topics. That's pinned, isn't it, by Lily? So Yeah, yes, it's easy it to find. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of got distracted because, as we said, it was my birthday and I have family who apparently i need to spend time with um <laughs> it's kind of important to do that you know every now overrated. and then overrated <laughs> yeah whatever greater than family <laughs> well it, it's more fun and and it's comfier as well because you can sit there on your laptop and <laughs> that's a new advertising <laughs> 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 comfortable <laughs> you can do that Jingle, make a jingle. We should, get, we should get like a lounge section in Rune Zone just for everyone to you know, have sit down in the that. sofa. Oh my god, so cookies, yeah. tea, <laughs> maybe milk, milkshakes. Oh, Rune, no, Rune Zone's Rune Radio, listening to comfort. Oh, you <laughs> on the slogan, buzzer. <laughs> Tire comfort, if we haven't already. It's like Rune Comfort. No, listen to it. Room comfort and then a, and then a tagline in the chat box. What could it be? Room comfort and then it's in the chat room. Comfort is the worst name ever. Whatever. It's a brand name. <laughs> room, room radio, room zone, room comfort. Room talk. Comfort your zone. Room, room chill. Ch- <laughs> room chill. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Great. Name. Oh, room chill. Peng- I've got a penguin T-shirt that says "Just Chilling." Relax. Yeah, <laughs> Relax zone. <laughs> that, the, the zone bit can be for the other for, for the um zone races site. Yeah. You can't have rune on it, can you? No, you can't. So yeah. see, that's that's actually leading on quite nicely, actually, Kathy. What are you doing there? See, yeah. zone races, races race fun site. There you go. Yep. Got something sorted already. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone everyone listening will uh, will know about um. Zona Basis. If you don't, check it out. Zonabasis.com. It's the uh, Ace of Spades fan site. Which the uh, young part of put it in the chat box. How kind of a check um, it out. I'm already. I'm already. I'm all prepared. So, stuff, so. One step ahead. <laughs> uh, if you scroll down the page, if it, if it doesn't fit, you should see uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Like, follow, subscribe. Great comment on the way for those. In fact, me and Illustrial, uh, Illustrial and I just finished recording some footage. Um, didn't we? We um, did. I, I don't know how it came out because Nathan did the recording, which is a bit of a change. <laughs> but I normally do recording. <laughs> what are you insinuating? I'm saying that <laughs> it could it could have come out badly, but you know I, I won't I won't pass judgment until I see it. Um, it but no, we we had a lot of fun. It was great. We were all killing some some people on Ace of Spades. I think we were both snipers for the majority of the match. Or yeah, matches. Snipe people. Sure I think you were top of the game, top of your team for every single round we played. I'm, I'm really quite good. Good. Um, <laughs> not, right, to, not to brag or anything, um, but 
we're actually giving out, not now, uh, <laughs> on, on, on the launch of Zone of Aces, we're giving out five game keys. So if you don't have Ace of Spades and you really want it, and then we're giving out five free copies of it. Because normally you have to pay about six pound, I think, ten dollars or so to get it. But we'll be giving out five free copies of the game. So if you're interested in that, then yeah, definitely get it. Get liking and following us and whatnot. Because that's where you're going to find out how to uh, to win those uh, codes. I bought it for half price. I go for three pound forty nine. You got the bargain on it. See, we don't have to just sort of bargain on it. That's what it is. Yeah, I might have done the same thing. I might have seen oh, Ace of Spades on half, half price. That's I it. can afford. I can afford three quid, but I can't afford seven. Lots of crazy. steam flash <laughs> sales. Great. It's I like sale. I can afford apple if it was half price. I'm not. <laughs> Poor man, like five hundred quid off. Exactly. So the thing is that Apple would probably still be making a profit if they did that. Because mm-hmm. mar- they have ridiculous margins, don't they? Most most businesses do, to be fair. I think Apple would okay. take, take the piss a bit, though, don't they? That's Apple for you, though, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, just off topic a bit there. True, but... Um... Well, talking of topics, we have a torture topic from Ark who says, question about the user group bars. Will the items in the bars be updated to the current RS look? Oh, that's a point, actually. I know what he's on about. It will be, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. I think uh, I've just clicked. Hopefully Deathslay is tuned in. If he's not, then uh, send him a ticket or message him yourself. He'll definitely look into that. You know, but yeah, they will be updated. The actual... Go on. I think that's even something I could manage on Nathan. So maybe I'll do it. Are you but, sure about that? Yeah, we don't want to be waiting until next year. <laughs> um, do, do, yeah, don't, no. ever, don't ever stretch yourself, Illustrial. Uh, I'm trying to. You might fit it in. Too odd. Uh, they're all getting revamped anyway soon. So, and uh, I think Deathlay's got a really good design for them. So, uh, they should be all be changed later this year. I hope. <laughs> later this year. No, nice time frame. Year, I mean, well, you know, because not. It, if it, what can happen is it'll just be those changing. A few things will change at the same time, but yeah, we can. They will definitely be changing. I can tell you that. So yeah, um, that leads quite nicely onto the uh, Rune Zone's future topic we've got. We're on a roll yes, here, today. <laughs> I know <laughs> we're doing quite well, you know. No, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think a few of us can do it. In fact, we all can because we're all staff, and uh, even users, I think, could uh, could discuss the future because they know it's going to be. Uh, and what they want from it as right. well. Yeah, so yeah, it's, you know, in before cheesy line, it's your room zone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you, know, you let us know what you want in the chat box, in the forums, you know, let us know what you want to see in the future. But we have got um, tons of, of awesome uh, kind of updates on the way. Um, some things we can't talk about, really. Uh, but you know that room zone has been supercharged. Um, Kathy, Power of Five, Lily, Daniel, you're feeling the supercharge? Great, I love it. Um, the site is just so much more. Can responsive. I be honest? Uh, if, it's, if it's negative, then, Kathy, then no, you can't be honest. No. <laughs> 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 no it's, it's, it's ever so worse than before. It's, it's even worse for you. Um, The status is quicker, but the chat box is slower. It might be my internet, though. Or my laptop. Because my laptop my laptop is the slowest thing ever. My grandma is faster than my laptop. Oh right. Okay. And she's, just, she's just she's just had a hip replacement, so it's not saying she's old. I'm not being stereotypical. Oh, right. She's had a hip uh, replacement. So No, yeah, it has it's it's uh, it's faster. Um it yeah, I have be noticed it it moves. Status is it a lot when you're flowing through the site. Um statuses is. especially when you, they, they used to be like a mini uh, about a second delay before whereas now if you just click it it's instant it's there you could test that now yeah. really. oh wow that is good yeah so we're also <laughs> actually I can, I can give it a little bit of a, a, a spoiler or announcement in there why not it's room talk that's what it's for uh, room radio is going to be supercharged as well um, basically the quality is going to be at the moment DJs can only uh, broadcast to a certain quality and uh, very shortly they're going to be able to broadcast it at an either even higher quality. But let's show you can probably talk about how kind of quality works on Room Radio. Uh, yeah, at the moment, I think we, we're actually restricted as to what we can broadcast at. I mean, um, a lot of our DJs only dream at, what, dream? Stream at, <laughs> at 128 kilobits per second, uh, whereas 
um, like kind of CD quality audio is around 320 kilobytes per second. So obviously that that might be a bit of an extreme streaming at that that kind of quality, but we want to be aiming for at least kind of 192, maybe 256 to, to you know really really enhance the listening experience on Room, room Radio. That's right. Yeah. So we'll be going near that though that kind of uh, level of uh, quality luxury speaking like then. So that's something to look forward to. Oh, it should be really clear at the moment, but it can get anything clearer. I'm at 96. So just to See? sort of ease things down a bit, so that's going to be, what, double double what we're streaming at at the moment? So just have a double? That, that, yeah, yeah. That double. sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I'm simple. I like to keep things simple. <laughs> oh, man. On the talk of uh, Reams in the future, Lily's in this call, by the way. He's not even uh, she She's on Reams as well. I think it would be good if Lily, um, obviously she's in charge of ambassadors and community staff, and obviously they all play a, a huge part and including actually donators uh, come under her, and they're obviously a huge part in uh, in Runetown's future. So, Lily, any plans to uh, recruit any more ambassadors? Or yeah, actually, we're looking to get some more ambassadors and help out around the uh, community as a whole. So, hopefully, I see some people around the community, give them an invite as long as they're active, friendly, they have no uh, current offenses, and everything's. Good with their account status, you might be getting a PM from somebody at the community team looking to uh, join the ambassador team. Cool stuff. So it's definitely something to look forward to there, guys, and the uh, who are listening in today. Um, so more ambassadors are going to be selected and, and recruited soon. Um, which is always good stuff. You get a pink name, uh, pink badge. Yeah, special action to a form. It's magenta. I think it's Helmut magenta. Man might argue with there about it being magenta versus pink, but I, I, I'm with Nathan on the pink here. Definitely. It's, it's definitely not pink. Ooh. I'm just saying <laughs> it's like uh-huh. pink. Definitely not. What is it? Okay, in the chat box, in the chat box, is it pink or whatever the mag- what is it? Magenta. It's not like a country. <laughs> HTML thing is magenta because Simon was arguing about no, it's magenta on the HTML thing. I just nodded and smiled. I'm not a geek at all. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll find out. See, how Helmoman, Ambassador himself, said it's pink, therefore, <laughs> 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 but Lily disagrees and says it's not pink. I have to agree. It's, it's definitely magenta. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to put a vote I'm going to make a topic later I'm actually literally genuinely going to make a topic it's going to be a poll I'm going to, going to vote see what the is and then we'll see if it's, a, uh, if it's pink or magenta pink versus magenta yeah, I posted a link for proof in the chat box it's magenta it's wiki. oh my god it anybody. that's not true it's wiki don't believe anything you read on wikipedia you should just edit it then you see it edit it <laughs> most reliable source one can use Moving on from the ambassador topic, uh, Call Me Samuel says, how can you apply for an ambassador? I don't believe you do apply, do you? Lily can take that one. Maybe she can't. Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, No, uh, ambassador is invite only. Um, Basically, you you don't really apply for it. Um, As as Lily just said, if you come on the forum, you'd be friendly. You don't have, you know, lots of account offences in the mornings, then we'll spot you and uh, we'll invite you to be an ambassador. And uh, you get a nice message from Lily Bialan herself inviting you to be one. Provided you accept, you'll uh, in about 24 hours usually you'll, you'll get your, you know, updated account. So it's like a great thing to to eventually be a part of then, because oh, there, yeah. there, there are there are some bonuses for ambassadors, aren't they? They get uh, a forum or something. Yeah, I'm going to link them into the. I'm going to link the. There you go. The ambassador topic's been linked. Basically, you get um, access to a special forum, uh, community support tools like issuing medals and things like that, uh, event promotion, so you can you know make your own events and we'll promote them, etc. Just loads of stuff, really. Uh, yeah, but a special forum to talk to other ambassadors and senior members of staff and leadership, etc. It's really cool. Uh, the current ambassadors, uh, I'm sure, can vouch that it's a, it's a great thing to be part of anyway. So. Right, so we've got a lot of topics coming in, so I'm going to select and pick a few. Um, Odd six eight seven says, "Is RuneScape best? Is the RuneScape best armor?" Okay, I don't actually understand that one. So if you could maybe send that in so I can understand it. I am blonde, so keep it simple. Um, 
Alex1150 says the weirdest talk show topic that's ever been requested. So I'd assume Illustrial would be more likely to know that one, to be honest. Wait, what's the question? Do you mean on the weirdest talk show topic that has ever been requested? I don't actually get a lot of room. Uh, room? I don't know what I'm about. Uh, talk show topics, actually. Um, a lot, I get a lot of um, kind of weird requests, you know, tongue, tongue twisters and just really dodgy things to read out. But I, I don't get many, many talk show topics now. Really I had a few either. dodgy shout outs, tongue, tongue twisters and things like that. Um, I think, watch. I think the weirdest thing so far that I've heard on the radio was Illustrial doing a late mix. And I think you were introducing a new section with Siri or something and Siri just didn't want to play ball. Uh, probably. I think I've done that once or twice, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Just... Sorry. Go on. No, go I on. wanted to get Emma Lustral to do this tongue twister. I just put it in the Skype chat. Oh, uh, which one? Lustral's going to do a, a tongue twister live on air. Okay, <laughs> sure. We'll give it a go. Uh, something. In I a... can't do that one from Essex. All right. Something in a 30 acre thermal thicket of thorns and thistles, stumped and thunder, <laughs> threatening the 3D thoughts of <laughs> Matthew the Thug, although theatrically it was only the 13,000 thistles and thorns through the through the underneath of his side that the 30 year old thug thought of that mor morning oh we did it well that was a that was pretty good I that was quite amazing that was good that good effort happy we got we got a lot of um tongue twisters but half of them I can do but as soon as they have th's in them my Essexness comes out Essexness and <laughs> yeah my Essexness. my drama my drama teacher makes me do Father Thump from Thick Thorn Farm thinks thistles are getting far thicker. And I can't do it. <laughs> um, not very well, anyway. No, not very well and not fast. And she makes me sing it as well. So, which I'm not doing. Um, but let's see. Uh, Louis, if you're registered, if you register for me, that's a very good um, talk show topic. Register for me and I'll read that out for you. Um... Ark says, can we expect a new user group this year? I'm presuming, like, because we've got, what, three ancient members now? I think it was five. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, yeah, maybe three. Maybe, I think two of them maybe banned. Uh, yeah, a uh, uh, new user group. Um, we actually take, put a lot of thought into uh, user groups. Um, you guys, uh, what do you think we should have a new user group? If so, what, what should the requirements be? So that's to both users on the chat box and those guys on the call so Kathy do you think yeah, there should be a new user group I personally don't think there should be because there's what three people um, yeah. still active two of which are staff members mm -hmm. so it's whilst I understand Monkey King who's the non-staff member um, would like prob possibly like, like something to aim for uh -huh. There's, you know, not much you can do about it because no one's actually reached the 5k and not been made staff apart from Monkey. I remember um, one of the two who have it, he got it and then was made into a community member. So it's just until a lot of people are getting, because we have quite a few um, orange people, chaotic. Orange people. <laughs> orange people. <laughs> <laughs> orange people. Orange people. Okay. I can't remember the name. Orange people, magenta people, it's just, yeah. purple yeah. people, so yellow people. Much. Um, the gold people that donate. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like peach. Peach people. Senior leaders are gold people. Yeah, but there's, there's just not enough ancient members for it to be worth creating another one. But obviously, he says this year, by this time next year, the site will be a lot bigger, a lot more year? active members. So yeah, I mean, there's also the possibility um, of a non-post requirement rank as well. Doesn't mean another staff rank. So It'd another be... sort of ambassador rank, but not necessarily with the similar sort of requirements. Different sorts of requirements, not necessarily based on post count. Yeah, in a way, uh, we're always kind of looking at um, kind of a veteran, not a veteran, like on member in a way, the whereby you don't have to be active. Because ambassador, if you get an ambassador rank, you have to maintain activity and continue to be active. Although I think it'd be good, like you know, if one of you guys left the staff team, and um, you know, because you're active and you won't be able to be active, then really, you know, we should be able to recognise 
for your kind of effort to the community by giving you like a an honored type or you know honored member um, badge or something like that. And it could also you know it wouldn't just be previous staff. It could be members who have put a lot of time and effort into Rune Zone, but you know don't want to take on a master role or aren't active enough to be you know to be an ambassador. So that could be something we could uh, look into. Yeah, that sounds good actually. What about you, Lily? What do you think about the uh, idea of another user group? Um, I think it's great. I would like to see something like an honored or a veteran or something that recognizes people that are no longer currently active but gave a lot of input and help over time to the, to the site. So I think it's a great idea and hopefully we can figure out something and make it happen. Yeah, well, I think I might get a, uh, I think there might already be a topic on the forum. If this is not, <laughs> then I'm sure someone in the chat box listening out, listening now might, uh, might go ahead and make one to get the discussion <laughs> again for it. Uh, yeah, something we're, we're looking into anyway. <laughs> Hell no one says bring back Cyan, like so. You can events even make team. them events team or. Oh, the events team. Whatever. <laughs> no, they were good. They were good. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question, you know what I mean? Um, Vanilla999 asks for favourite quest series. So, he wants to start with that one. I remember we got asked this one a couple of weeks ago, I think, and I couldn't think of an answer for you, but... Ernest, can you think of one now? <laughs> no, Nathan's an Ernest and Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a series, Nathan. It was, because he had the chickens. All part oh, of no, the it was a series, wasn't it? Actually, it was, yeah. I don't, know if, I, I don't know. Yeah. I stand corrected, it was a series. Yeah. yeah. Was it? No, I'm thinking something else. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a series. I'm thinking You're of the other one with the chicken. Ava. Yeah, I'm thinking Regardless, of that list. Well, what about the Doris Quest one with the bold man? But that's not even in the game anymore, isn't it? Is they, it? No, it got revamped. Oh, see? You, do, you, do you even play this game anymore, Nathan? Of course I do. I love the evolution of that. <laughs> that all the time. Always playing that. Uh, no, but, no I, I don't do quests, I'm afraid, so you, you guys have to take over that question. I don't. <laughs> I, okay, I, like, too yeah, I like I like the new quests they brought out not too long ago with the Ari Ariana Ari, Ari, whatever Ari, Ari, Ari. that one Ari, 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 Ari. the redhead yeah the signature hero one I thought those quests were quite good for the the sort of the storyline and obviously how how they revamped the wizard's tower with that um, wizard's like, tower is way too big the recent quests they're probably my favourite at the moment um, long term. Probably the Elf series. I think the Elf series has got the most potential to go somewhere, but it's not really going anywhere at the moment. I like I that area the most. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm bumbling on a lot. Bumbling. Have we got another talk show topic? <laughs> uh, yeah, Louis, Louis registered. I'm going to assume you're Louis, um, not Lois. So Louis registered and says, opinions on EOC. We all know how much Nathan, he just expressed his love for it. Um, do you think EOC killed the game? And do you think that the game is dying because of dices slash gamblers slash EOC? Also, thanks for saying my name right. You're welcome. I have a friend called Lois, so I feel your pain. <laughs> So EOC, I, I, I thought EOC was all right. I, I think everyone, the, the trouble with EOC was the way they did it. I think I think people looked at it and was able to swap between the two and that made them think it was going to be worse than it actually was. But no, I think EOC is okay. Yeah. I, 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 I honestly don't I, I don't, I don't hate it. I just don't really like it if that, well, I prefer, I, the I, old, I, I prefer the old system. I think this system's okay. It's, it's good, it's enjoyable to use, but I, I think the old system is better. Because we were at, um, where was it? It was Clan Wars yesterday for the uh, the party of the year, and I was I was trying to figure out what I was doing, because I've, I've not done a whole lot of combat since the EOC came out. You know, I was hitting abilities, and I'm like, why aren't I killing them? And then they stun me with one of their abilities, and I'm like, oh, I've got to use the freedom ability now. Then I have to go through my ability book to get the freedom ability out, and by the time I've done that, I'm not stunned anymore. And then it's just it's, it's yeah. a bit of it makes combat a bit more kind of labored is that the word you I'm need for? you need the yeah, setup yeah. really to sort of counter things yeah. that you're not 100 percent sure is going to happen so it's i think yeah, yeah i think the great thing was in the past you used to put a weapon on with a special attack and that was it you know you've got a timer right thing now it's going to see as uh illustrial uh say it's more labored you gotta like press one seven six three you know what i mean do all the uh tactics and um whatnot, it's not something, it's something, you know, 
I'm sure loads of people enjoy it. I don't. I don't mind it. Sure, I prefer the previous version, but you know, looking forward. I think um, the EOC was right for really to give them. You know, I think it's going to make it possible to do lots of more uh, interesting and more exciting gameplay, especially uh, yeah, against the uh, like Cal Flight King and things like that. Yeah, I, I think it. boss fights are definitely what's going to make the EOC really worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. from, the, from the sounds of it, there's a lot more sort of potential for quest bosses as well to go forward. And I, I know personally, I haven't tried most of the bosses since the EOC, but to them all. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, mole does not count as a boss. Nathan loves the mole, don't you, Nathan? <laughs> Can't get enough of that mole. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> I had a torch I told you, it's just gone off my screen from um Con V or something. It began with K. I apologize. Um but it was sort of one of my cause you see, because it was my birthday yesterday, I thought I'd treat myself and let us talk about animals for a bit. And his was so it's linking in, it's what the community technically want to listen about. Um if you were an animal animal, what would you be? Oh god. So who wants uh, to start with that? Uh, I'm not. Go ahead. No, I said I'm not. I'm not. Hey, Lily, Lily, you start. What animal would you be? Um, I would be a fat, lazy cat in a giant mansion. I just had the entire house to myself with life catered. I wouldn't move from a room to a room. I would just stay in one room and <laughs> lay around. Uh, with a laptop? Yeah. With a laptop. Oh, I would. I would have a laptop. A cat laptop. Phone. A cat I would have laptop. everything. That's, Especially uh, designed for the cat's paws. Do you need to ask Kathy, or do we know what animal she's going to be already? A bit here. Go ahead, Kathy. <laughs> um, well, most of you'd say, one? well, most of you would think a penguin, but not actually, no, because <gasps> penguins are really cold, and I don't like the cold. <laughs> um, no, I'm not a meerkat cat because. Cold. No, not a meerkat, cause, no, because they always huddle up, especially in winter, you, in the pictures of them huddling up. And not a meerkat, because meerkats are always like on their toes and looking, and my feet hurt a lot because I wear heels a lot. So, not a meerkat. Um, I never actually thought of this question to be thought. Um, I think I would be a snow tiger, because they're really pretty, and they have warm coats to keep them cold, and you don't see them being cold. Um, and they're just pretty, and um, it would be nice to like almost have that majestic feel you get from tigers. That's a good. I like that actually. I like that. I, like that. <laughs> I, I did laugh at it over initially, but well, no, I like that. Well, sure. Illustrious. <laughs> um, see, I could pick one of the uh, many animals that have been used to name the Mac OS. You know, mountain lion, oh, uh, snow leopard, snow. Ma oh, there's not an OS called walrus. <laughs> you know, I don't thought you'd be them. No, S send that send that into Apple. The next one should be Walrus. <laughs> I, I do. Have, what, what do walruses actually do? They just nothing. Sit yeah. there. That's why I'd be perfect for the macOS. That's, that's why. Ooh, oh. <laughs> low that. That was a bit low. Um, oh. No, I, I honestly don't know. I should have thought about this, shouldn't I? Oh well. Yeah. How about I get back to you? I'll get back to you. Okay. What would you be, Nathan? Then. I'd be, it's really, if it can class as an animal, okay. I think what, what would really good to be is like a ladybird because <laughs> the name is. Because you're a lady? It's not a lady, nor is it a bird. Yet it's called a ladybird, sure. I'll take that one, deceiving. And you just, you know, you just fly around, you look, look at it. Google ladybird and just look at them. And why do you not want to be one of those? Look, look, it's, it's just interesting. Did it, how long did it live, though? I don't want to die after a few days. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather look for a year or something, at the very least. If not, I'd have to be like um, a, a turtle or something like that. Tortoise. Turtoise. They, <laughs> what are they called? Turtle. Well, what, there's the two of them. What? What's the other one? Tortoise. Called? Which ones? There's a tortoise that um, it was like one of those large tortoises that just died, and its name was George. The last one from the Galapagos Islands. No, but it lived oh, like I saw that in um, fifty or two hundred or something ridiculously long, because they live for, like ever, not ever obviously. Or a pigeon. But... A pigeon. Why did you call me a pigeon? <laughs> because still, you eat the bread, still... you get free food. Everyone hates you, but that's you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good quality, away. Nathan. No, because they hate you. It's if you give you the bread, they go away. I'm happy with that. You know what I mean? Give me the bread, I'll leave you alone. Sure. You know, <laughs> pigeon, definitely. Thank you very much. Decided. Good. 
<laughs> no comment. No, would you want to be? Animal what pigeon. animal would you be? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'd really, really hang on. Um, no, come, come back to me at the end. Really come back to me at the end of everything. John, you. Um, uh, B. For God's sake, that's just violent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be a fly then, because then I could be a fly on the wall and look at everyone and just be like, I can see everything. I'm a fly. I'm <laughs> Whoa. Flies die easily. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Fly and a bee. A fly bee. A wasp. Be a wasp. Isn't that an airline? Fly bee. Wasps that eat. <laughs> airline. You're a good <laughs> I, th- I think I should just be a fish, seeing as that's kind of what most people call me. So I'll go, I'll go with fish. Fish sounds good. God, such a fish. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what fish? Any fish? Like a big fish. Um, uh, but, uh, uh, Shark, because shark, sharks are awesome and they eat everything. You should be a tuna. Everyone loves tuna. Tuna, yeah, but everyone eats tuna, so I don't want to be what everyone eats, you know. Because then I'm, I'm, I'm liable to being caught and fed to people like illustrial. Oh. <laughs> what? And, and, uh, and as much as I like you, illustrial, I don't want you eating me for breakfast so or I, dinner. I love a good bit of tuna, actually. Sorry. <laughs> tuna <laughs> sandwich. Oh. Tuna That's what I cold. usually have for lunch. I'll admit that one. Yeah, the, the, thing, the thing with tuna is, uh, I, I recently moved out and started living on my own, and I went shopping, and I normally get tuna in brine, but on the one week where I accidentally got tuna in oil, it was just really sort of, it was like, what do you do with it? I, I, it felt really weird, and I had no clue what I was doing with it. It was just like panic at the sink. There's oil everywhere. I panic have no sink. idea what I'm doing. Is that a <laughs> panic at the sink? Is that a ban? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a ban. It's not a ban. <laughs> Panic at the disco. Panic song. at the disco. Yeah, same thing. Panic at the. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, Panic at the disco. Uh, we, we have a lot of shout outs um, or torture topics. Um, should we. Do we carry on and overrun a bit? Because. Do we over? Okay, let's. Okay. We're sure. not going to get through all of them. <laughs> sure. Um, oh, yeah. Five minutes, everyone. Not like three hours. Yeah, obviously, because um, we also have a few competi- uh, well, a competition that we'll do. We'll do three of them, shall we, John? Yeah, if we just go through three couple. of them, we'll do three of them, and we'll just continue for a little bit. That's fine. Uh, here's one that I think you guys will enjoy. Grey Dorian says, "Sony, Nintendo, or Microsoft?" Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be anti Nathan here and go. It's not Microsoft. Microsoft, the terrible. I didn't say that out loud. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't like any of them. Can I just go for Linux because I'm a Linux noob? Linux. Can I? I'm, <laughs> out of those three, I'm going to have to say Nintendo. Nintendo. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 like we're talking Nintendo before like the Wii came out. Cause oh right, just, so like SNES. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I still have a SNES. Classic Nintendo, not modern Nintendo. Who the hell wants a Wii U anyway? <laughs> Who the hell thought of that name, really? Hey, let's name a console. Let's add a U on the end. <laughs> says the person who looks like iPhone. It's phone, phone with an I on the front, isn't it? I don't, I don't I I'm actually playing my, my iPhone right now. Playing a bit of a It's kind of like, let's make a phone different, but just add an S on the end of it. Ooh. Ooh. She's, she's coming, coming out, an iPhone. She's coming out with all the anti-Apple jokes today. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get rid of I her? Don't blame her. No. <laughs> Can we get rid of her? <laughs> I'm not a fan. Not a, I'm not a fan. You'll have to somehow pass that past the uh, head of staff here, but I don't know whether he's going to go for that or not. Nathan, can yeah. we get rid of her? Hey, Apple, so. Oh. Probably, probably, uh, get rid of if anything, you're going to get rid of me. This, yeah. <laughs> promote, promote Lily to take over um, the last year's job. So get head of anti Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun position. Easy to do. Like my position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um. Right. Let's see. Talk show topics. Hell Norman says, "Are you looking to bring more competitions on the forum?" So I suppose that would be a Lily slash Nathan thing. Lily can do that one. Um. Yeah. I know we are. Uh, we're looking at bringing it back. I uh, know, especially it'll be out here in probably about two weeks. The refer a friend competition, and we're looking for some really crazy prizes with that as well. And uh, we are looking at a bunch more competitions to plan out for the next uh, six months to a year. So, 
Yes, there will be a lot more competitions taking place. That sounds fun. I know we've got the signature one still running, but I think that's all, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, there's two, I think. What, there's one by a community member and there's one by Silent. I think, there's, is, is, is the, uh, forgive me for not knowing, I think, is there a story competition still on? I can't remember if that's still up. I don't know if it's still going on or not. I, I know, know we... there was recently a um, create an item competition, uh, design an item competition, yeah, yeah, which yeah, run yeah. by Ark with Simon, and there's also the signature competition, which is run by Simon. Um, I don't know story. any others. I haven't. I haven't seen it around lately. Yeah. It was um ex community member who did that one. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I get it back. That was yeah. Good. I, I remember. I kept writing it, but I never finished it. <laughs> um, Toxin says, if you could have any one thing on RuneScape, what would it be? Lily doesn't need to answer this one. <laughs> everything. What if she can't have like the RuneFest hood? Okay. Actually, there is one thing that I've always wanted to get. I've tried getting. I've tried paying four times the price for, and I've never been able to get it. What is um, it? Is it? Those are the uh, third age druidic robes. Never um, been able to get them. Okay. Tried Eight. paying like seven bill for them. Never got them. So. As you do, you know. Oh, That's seven bill. Just... <laughs> that was it. There's no item I really. Uh, Thing and thought, oh, did it do uh, fezzes still? They're quite like, they're like Santa hats, but if you dropped a fez with like a white bead, like a Santa hat, and we went towards it. That's all I remember. You, you can get fezzes quite quite um, easily. Oh, oh, right, they're readily available. All oh, right. Uh, yeah, because you do them to do a, a, a mini game or something to get them. So, I, I, could you be meaning the, the scarves? The, the... No, it's a little hat. No, you can get actual fezzes. I think um, I, I remember seeing one because. I remember Nick couldn't afford a Santa hat, so I wore a fez when he dressed up as Father for Christmas a few years ago. I've, I've got a fez. <laughs> I've got a fez, but... Or I know you can get the... You have to do one of the desert quests, and then you do a, an activity after that, and you can buy the fez off a guy for not money GP, but... <laughs> Fezzes aren't rare, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I still like them. Fez is a cool fez. Fezzes are cool. I, I fully support that. Go Matt Smith. Doctor Who looks cool in a fez, okay? He's cute. But he looks cool in a fez. What's wrong with that? Exactly. It's red as well, room zone colours. Yeah, see? Hi, you brand manager. <laughs> so, 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 we, so we need to get Matt Smith to do a promotion for room zone. Gotcha. Can we do that? No, moving on. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to buy it? Uh, oh. Let's put the charge to build it on Alt's card. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh. um. Right. Um. Let's see. Alex one one five zero says, "What's the stupidest thing you have ever done?" In on RuneScape, mm. whatever. Both. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to think. I know on RuneScape, the stupidest thing I ever did was trade a, an Amulet of Fury for a Team Cape at the time, and I think an Amulet of Fury was like 17 mil. I don't know why I did it, but... <laughs> why not, you know? Do you want to swap a Fury for a Team Cape? In real life, I don't know. Do you mean, probably? I'm trying <laughs> to think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't, I can't uh, think, really. RuneScape, probably, yeah. Uh, you know, what? it's not really a stupid thing, it's just like, ugh. When people say selling, uh, oh no, sorry, buying Varro teleport tab 100 mil, you trade them, you put the Varro tab in, but they decline the trade, so you accidentally click it and teleport away. That's quite <laughs> stupid. Um, quite infuriating as well when they say, ha ha ha, and you teleport. Um, in real life, uh, I don't do stupid things know? in real life. We do. Daniel, <laughs> we can do it. Putting a McDonald's sandwich in the bin, sure. Well, yeah, you could use that as an example. That's kind of stupid. Well, it wasn't stupid. That was, yeah, but yeah, it was stupid. It was ridiculously stupid. But I'd rather like, embarrass myself. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> actually, like, probably stupid. I can't really think. I did actually, yeah, we'll just do that one. I bought a um, quite a lot of things, actually, at McDonald's the other week. And one of those items from the uh, Big Mac. And uh, I left that for last. And we, we, I just forgot about it. It was on our tray. I was going to eat it on the way home. Anyway, I'm sure I put the tray up, put it all in the bin. We're walking down the stairs and I was like, 
Oh no, my Big Mac. And then we realised it was in the bin, and then we just carried on walking out. So, and we uh, had a big forest. There you go. You, you ordered a, a chicken sandwich after that, didn't you, or something small? Did I? Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. To compensate for it. Yeah. Ordered a chicken sandwich to compensate for Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Lost. laughs> um, okay, so. Um, I think I fell I fell off a fence and into the sea once, but apart from that, <laughs> I, that, 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 that I, I, think I caught a fish in my hair. It's not even funny. I caught a fish in my hair. How? That's even worse. My hair, my hair's that long, like really long, and a fish got caught what, in it. It's not like... very big. Oh, but it so... I don't think got caught in my hair. Like you, you, fish in my... you just dip your hair in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that, can, that can be a Solomon store thing. <laughs> Fish with your hair. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, call me Matt says, can we have another party of the year? Yeah, next year. Uh, yeah, next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we got we got things like um, summer beat coming up later this year in the summer. We're bound to be having loads of massive events along the similar lines to the party of the year. So just really keep an eye out yeah. on them. A heat wave. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the video. Summer Beat. Summer Beat was fun. Amazing. I could attend that one because it wasn't on my birthday. Ooh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Summer Beat, yeah, it's great in the summer, obviously. We could even already know. Uh, Springs, s- spring Beat. We, had, we used to have it Doesn't spring, quite have the same ring. Yeah. Does spring it? Games, which were good. Spring Games. They were good then. We might bring out a winter event because actually we used to have winter beat, but that was only for one year. Then we, we replaced it with the party of the year, which is in January. But it'd be good to have something like in October or something in November, like let's say Blizzard. Winter beat. No. Halloween. Halloween beat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween beat. Halloween beat. Yeah. Yeah. Halloween beat. Halloween. Oh, you can make a pun out of that or something. Hang on. Oh God. Have a think here. Right. Whilst last year's thinking. Lily and they are uh, Lily. I suppose this would go to. Are you looking to recruit more people to the community team? Asked by Hell Norman. Um, I'm assuming like expand the amount of staff on the community team currently. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, we are looking. Um. But then again, uh, we we do recruit. We don't actually have applications out, just like the ambassadors. So if we feel that you're Somebody that we're looking for will send you a message and uh, contact you. So there is no application to join. It's just by contact only. So, But, yes, we are looking for people um, all the time. So if you get that message, reply to it, and uh, you might be on the community team. Yeah. So it's just for I people mean, to really keep doing what they're doing at the moment, enjoy the community, and maybe at some point they might get that message from you. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, right. To I've, finish this part off. No, I've got the name for the party. Oh, oh you've got the name for the party, have you? <laughs> because it's between Halloween and Christmas, we will call it Frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God. You know, vampires, snowmen, frostbite. And... Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Um, Alex. Alex one five five asks uh, to. Finish this off. Um, I, I accidentally approved that. Didn't mean to. Sorry, Lewis. Um, asks try and talk in an American accent. Lily, I think you've already got there perfectly. Um, but who wants to go first? Oh God! <laughs> Absolutely no way in this universe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I think this comes under one of those moments of embarrassing things on the radio. So I think we should probably get Illustrial to do it. Yeah, See, no, whenever I try an American accent, it always turns Australian for some reason. Go on. <laughs> go on. Go on. No, no. Oh, God. Um, hey. Go on, uh, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, illustrial, really. <laughs> I bet someone's recorded this as well. Oh, wait, I am. Illustrial American accent is just him being, like, ten years older. Just deeper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, guys! I I'm American. No, I'm not. <laughs> John, do you want to try? I, I am not going to. Uh, but you got who I did. Uh, uh, yeah, but you're illustrial. Yes, sir. Happy. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Kathy can do it. Fair, because I can't. Because I'm. Kathy. I'm. No, I. Okay, I'll do it. Because I have to be American, actually. I have a show soon and I have to do an American accent. It's dreadful. I apparently sound like I'm from Jersey Shore. But, okay, what's the matter? Do it and we'll tell you if you do. He told me right there of a white chocolate mocha frappuccino, one shot of espresso, an extra shot of sugar free raspberry flavouring, and extra whipped cream on top. Uh, I think you passed that one. Ding, ding, ding. You sound like you're from Jersey. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, Jersey, God. Essex, isn't it the same thing? <laughs> um, so there you have it. Okay, we are going to be doing a short competition <laughs> after this, which I'm just going to put on a few songs and, well, one song, and then we'll be up with the competition that you guys can win. So, um, thank you again to these guys, and we'll talk to you shortly. Room Talk, have your say. Okay, we are back. So, we have our little competition. John, do you want to explain it? Yep. Uh, basically, we will be reading out some characteristics about uh, certain members of staff, and you've effectively got to guess which members of staff we are talking about. Uh, we're doing this in the chat box, so it's first one to say it in the chat box, um, and you will win 50k. You so, can uh, have one guess. Yeah, one guess uh, per round. So, um I don't know, let's say, for example, it was about Lily and you guessed Nathan first um, and then realised it was Lily. You you couldn't guess again or if you did guess again, you your guess wouldn't count and someone else would win. Yeah. So be sure before you guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've been, well, our prizes are 50k. Um, each piece you pull you get, I'll go in game and give that to you. And Nathan has kindly allowed you guys to have a medal for... Um, each correct one so three people in a chance for 50k and a medal each so tier one medal as well tier one tier yeah. one medal so shall we start with the first one illustral you said you'd like to do that one uh okay yeah so do i do i take a gap between each one or do i yeah just uh leave a little gap okay so um the person i'm describing here is in the content team they're white they white are people's White <laughs> lightning bolt. White yeah. lightning bolt. They are male. Mm. So not a female. Uh, they have a long name. <laughs> and a, probably a difficult name to pronounce as well. Big clue there. And they are a former guest of Room Talk. I like how someone's guest Nathan, but it's <laughs> kind of... Uh, didn't realise you'd changed the content team, Nathan. Spell my name wrong as well. <laughs> oh, we have a winner, I believe. We have a winner Photography congr- correctly guessed. So, congratulations there. Photography. Um, with the 50k and the medal. So, second one, I believe uh, Nathan wanted to do that one. Yeah, I nearly just said the name out loud then. It's uh, <laughs> this person. Um, I'm going to do the colour last because then the medal. Oh, no, that's the one guess actually, never mind. Yeah, uh, they are yellow or gold uh, on site. Um, they are cursed. Ooh, they spooky. talk. <laughs> they talk a lot, apparently. In the chat box, yeah. Sheet. I think the last one might give it away a little bit. Ooh, Artly just got in there. Um, I don't think we can accept photography's answer, even if that was for her oh hell norman basically you are guessing the staff member we are describing so we're giving that to artway so congratulations on 50k in the medal and the last one lily do you want to do that one um sure i'll probably butcher the name but sure don't say the name don't say the name that's why one of the clues is uh what it is yes that is a clue the name is a little hard to pronounce for some um this is an old content team member they are American. Name's extremely hard to say for me. And they are male. I, I, I think this one might be a bit... And I believe the make first part of the name might be a band. Or, no, something like that's close to it. Oh, Art got it. It's like Art got it. <laughs> um. Yeah, Art's in there. Cron- okay. How do you pronounce it? Conry. Conry, there we 
Run, 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 Arc, Artly, and Photography, if you want to meet me in-game in just a second, World 83, Edgeville. Um, and thank you again to Nathan. No problem. And Lily B. Allen. Yep. <laughs> and Illustrial as well. Thank you for having me again. It's great. Uh, <laughs> for <laughs> coming on there, and of course, John, for co-hosting. Of course. Don't forget, this will be up on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to try the thing with Illustrial because it's going to fail epically again. YouTube.com wants to use the videos. See, it, it works, but I don't want it to work. But, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, that will be up at some point in the week. If you've missed any of the shows, check them out on uh, YouTube as well. Um, Kathy? Uh, thank you for listening to Rune Talk. Remember, you can check out the topic. I'll post a link shortly. This is Rune... Um, talk where you can have your say. Thank you for listening. The latest updates, quizzes, and loads of RSGP. This is the hottest chat show on RuneScape. Rune Talk, have your say.